what I hope uh, people who are tuning in hear a little bit of anyway is that we want to convey a message of hope. There are solutions out there. Some are cultural. Some are from policy makers. Some are from each individual making personal choices. Some are from stakeholders getting together and sitting at a table and agreeing to work together to solve these problems. It's not all doom and gloom, but the more we can all encourage people to work on solutions and to believe that we can make a difference, we'll, we'll finally find a way out of this. If we can put a man on the moon and send uh, rovers to Mars, we can solve plastic pollution. We just need to keep working on it and dedicate ourselves to it. I think it's, it's a complicated issue, but each of us today, right now, can start looking at our own personal plastic footprint and asking ourselves, what little change could I make right now and what changes could I make in the future? Um, when we go to the store, asking ourselves, where did this come from and where is it going to go? And is this something that I'm about to buy? Is this something that's actually going to make me happy? Um, questioning our consumption but also realizing that this problem is systemic, it's bigger than any one person. Um, it's important for us to look at our own responsibility in this issue, but then step out of ourselves and get involved in community actions um, as well as consumer actions on a bigger level. Um, one of the things that I have on my website is the Show Your Plastic Challenge where people can create, collect their plastic waste for a week or more and then um, upload it and answer questions about it to figure out how much they're actually using. And I think that's a really cool way to start, just to see what your personal plastic footprint is. But then also realize that it's not just, um, it's not only your responsibility, it's our, all of our responsibility. And how can we be a positive influence for other people? Um, and, and Katrina asked me just to note, um, you know, backtracking a bit, you know, earlier regarding the, the feasibility of an ocean cleanup. And I'll share with you, Daniela, and with Katrina afterwards um, a document that just came out um, out of the University of Washington as a collaborative effort. It's a very short document, but it just kind of outlines the ecological and technological challenges associated with a large scale cleanup. So um, I, I think that document will be made available after, after this. Um, Hang out, um, but but in terms of you know, a final takeaways, you know, Ocean Conservancy for the past twenty years, twenty seven years has has been running the International Coastal Cleanup, and you know while the cleanup is an extraordinary effort, and we and we applaud the tremendous volunteer turnout, you know we have to recognize that cleanups are a starting point and not an end point. Um, you know, the cleanup is the first piece, and, and for so long we have been looking from the beach seaward for solutions, when in reality the solutions lie from the beach to the trash can and, and even further upstream. So as I noted earlier, you know, we all have a role to play. We need more science, but that doesn't mean we, we should be constrained to take action now. Industry has a very big role to play, and we need to start shifting that burden of proof from, you know, us as individual consumers to industry to demonstrate that the items they're putting into the marketplace are safe, not only you know through their existing life cycles, but now through the end of life life cycle, and it's ultimately if these end up in the ocean. Um, and to, to point to, to Bill's uh, note that it's not all gloom and doom, I think that's a fantastic takeaway because we need to recognize that you know plastic pollution is not an ocean problem at the end of the day. It's a people problem. And that means we all have a role to play. We all can be part of the solution. And it can start with each of us today. So um, thank you so much for, for having me participate today. I think it's been a tremendous conversation.